You know, I'm very fortunate because I get to spend a lot of time with many IT leaders of large and medium organizations spread across many geographies, looking at how prepared they are for supporting their big digital transformation programs. And the overwhelming feedback from them is that their service management capabilities are unable to support the new business demands. In a way, they feel that they're stuck in the past, unable to transform IT practices and capabilities quickly enough to keep up with the pace of change driven by the pandemic and the accelerated digital transformation spending. Let's take a look at the top five areas in service management IT organizations are struggling with. Here are the top five challenges that IT leaders are highlighting as areas in service management and operations that are holding them back in supporting their big digital transformation programs. Number one, incoming workload to the service desk is exceeding resource capacity, resulting in missed SLAs and frustrated customers. Number two, increasing workload when most activities are manual results in high cost and very slow response times. Number three, Customer relevant services are not accessible via self-service, forcing users to calls and emails to the service desk, which impacts customer experience and self-service adoption. Number four, fragmented and poorly implemented self-service drives customers to the costly and slow phone and email channels. Number five, the service management environment is too costly to maintain, taking away funding from more productive areas and too slow to keep up with modern service management technologies such as chat, mobile, Microsoft Teams, making the platform unresponsive to the business needs. To help IT departments address these challenges quickly, we have developed a set of offers using three key principles. The first is to take the guesswork out and use an AI-led approach to benchmark your current circumstances and assess your service management maturity. Here are some insights that can be uncovered within a day or so. Common service requests from your customers. Identify missing knowledge. Configure critical mass service catalog. Identify automation candidates. Identify process inefficiencies. Identify data quality issues. These insights are then used to power up differentiated technologies such as BMC's Helix platform to leverage the latest capabilities in connected workflows, automation, and great customer interfaces to create contact strategies supported by a critical mass service catalog, which can be accessed via digital channels, including mobile, portal, Microsoft Teams, and much, much more. But nothing we have done so far is of real business value unless the solution is adopted by a wide range of users and customers quickly. That is why we've created a number of industrial strength methodologies and pre-packed content to onboard organizations and provide access to 100 plus common services within four to six weeks. The speed of delivery and sheer volume of relevant content will have a big impact on customers' perception of the service. Over the years, we've assisted many global and mid-sized organizations with their transformative initiatives who have reported these types of business outcomes. A global company reduced its service management manual activities by 40% in three months. A global gaming company increased self-service adoption by 30% in three months. A global manufacturer changes contact strategy from old manual methods to modern consumer-focused automated methods within six months. A global telecoms operator reduced missed SLAs by 25% within three months. A healthcare provider increased service desk capacity by 60% through automating mundane activities. Hopefully that was of some use. I'm really interested to hear how you're getting on with your service management initiatives. Drop me an email or a comment below. Till next time, goodbye.